My name is Joel Ebersol, and I've been in aviation since about 2000. I grew up in Brazil. I was born and raised in Brazil. My parents were missionaries there. Um, and so that's kind of my experience growing up as a kid is uh, seeing airplanes and seeing uh, being in the mission field. I think that's seeing the need for uh, transportation to places where are very remote and uh, hard to access. And that's how, what I want to do with my life is make a difference uh, with people that uh, needed help getting to isolated locations and remote villages. So that's kind of what drew me into aviation. Um, and so I signed up and went to the mission field in 2007 and I've been working with the mission ever since. Yeah, I think ever since I was a kid, uh, you know, the fact of being wanting to use the tool of aviation in the mission field was there. And so uh, ever since I was a kid, that's always kind of what I had uh, thought, that's what I'm gonna pursue. And then as I took those steps towards that career, the career that I'm in, uh, that doors opened and closed and just really confirmed um, that direction for me. So it was a kind of a process thing as, as I took the steps, uh, the doors just kept opening and I just kept on taking the next steps to get to where I'm at today. You know, this message that everybody has a purpose is, is really key to treating each other equally with respect, no matter what your background is. So. Uh, I think this is a very timely kind of a message because uh, we need that, especially nowadays where it's easy to overlook people based on their career, their status, or whatever. If they have an airplane, if they don't, you know, it's easy to uh, kind of categorize people in that area, and that's really not what Jesus sees. And, and so in, the, in our faith, we're challenged to uh, really see the people as as a surgeon, like you said, just as an important part, no matter what part they play in society or in your life, they're important, they're special. Uh, Jesus died for them just as much as he had died for me. And so um, we need to keep that in mind always and not let the world cloud our vision and our judgment on judging people. Yeah, I love what I do. Um, and, and, and I take pride in what I do and uh, I think it's fun as well. I work with great uh, friends, you know, and all the people I work around, we have a great relationship and that really makes a huge difference. But for fun, I really love spending time with my family and my kids. I got four of those and uh, they're, they're great, uh, my wife. And so family is another very important part of my life because really our lives is bigger than it should be bigger than just ourselves, you know, and that's what brings purpose to our lives is, hey, you're not here just for you. You're here for your coworkers, your family, your kids, and in God's kingdom. So when you're part of, when you realize you're part of this bigger picture, um, you know, that really helps you keep focused and keep grounded and, and uh, stay on course. What is really the core of my life is my faith in Jesus Christ. That really is um, key, and that is really what holds me to um, to the standards that I have for living, and uh, that's really what gives me the strength to get through difficult situations. Those pressures or difficulties come. I have a place to run that's safe and that's secure and that it's like my, my heavenly father, I can just run into his arms and spend time with him. And that really is what holds me and keeps me grounded, I guess, and, and when those situations ar arise. And even in the aviation field, uh, like I said, you know, sometimes when I'm inspecting an airplane, I will ask God for help and wisdom on finding the problems with this airplane. Um, in fact, uh, interesting story about this airplane behind me right here is that uh, I, I just finished the annual, uh, the annual inspection on this airplane, and I ran it up one last time to before I cowed it up, and I was praying over this engine, 
as I was about to cowl it up and I found a problem with it, which would probably have caused a uh, accident because this engine would have um, stopped in midair and that would probably have um, created, you know, who knows what would have happened then. You can't just pull over with airplanes. And so I found the broken stud. It's very hard to see. Uh, it's something, and it, you know, it was a God thing because I, I was all done with it and I was about to just call it up and say, all right, let's go fly it. Uh, but I found that problem and I, I really don't think it's just me working here because I do ask for God's help and I think that, that really is what makes the difference. To quicken my skills or give me uh, insight on things that I might have not thought of just in a natural. Uh, so really, my relationship with Jesus Christ is really affects all areas of my life. My name is Joel, I'm an airplane mechanic, and I'm a surgeon.